comprised only of packs. We are in the playoffs with a team built solely from packs. We've got 14,000 Madden cash to spend. And most importantly, there is a brand new promo in the store. The AKA promo is back. AKA is any players with nicknames that give them an incredible card. There's 87 overall prime time. This is probably the best pull. And there's Jerome Bettis the bus. They also get special X factors. For example, Jerome Bettis will start the game with Wrecking Ball, but it's 2 AP and it turns off after a few plays. Super good. We're going to be opening up the full AKA bundle. You get five AKA packs, 284 or better, and my choice of one of two 87s. The 84 plus pack has a 7% chance at an 87 overall. I don't exactly know who I want the most. There is an 87 Jerry Rice. He would be a really good option, but I think no matter who we get in those 87, it's gonna be a really difficult choice. If you're new to pack and play, we earn cash by winning games. And we're obviously not allowed to use the auction house. It's our first AKA player is Jameis. Oh my God, I forgot. Famous Jameis. Jameis Winston has an 87 overall quarterback. Low key, that would be really good too. I don't have any 87 overalls on my team. So I don't have any 87s other than my legends, Seau and Richard Sherman. So anything honestly would be amazing. These AKA packs, mostly are just going to have 80s in them. I don't expect much here. Another AKA player, this one. One is 80 Bobby Wagner. I think low key 87 Bobby Wagner B Wags is the worst pull for me. Like out of those guaranteed 87s. Ooh, the double up on Leonard Williams. The Rams jerseys because I just did a rebuild. Oh, this is an 84 plus. Bettis. I honestly can't use him because 84 Fred Taylor's been so good. Our next 84 plus is prime time. Hell yeah, I can use that. That's a really good 84. He'll be a great starter. And not to mention, he'll be a great return man. 85 speed, 84 excel. Yeah, he's super good. And we saved up all this cash basically for this fantasy pack right here. We want Jerry Rice. Big animation. Big cat, actually, actually really good. I can't say I want Leonard Williams over like Jerry Rice, but that's a really good pick. Leonard Williams be good. Our second 87 is Oh, uh, what do we do here? So my current left end is Okoronkwo. Leonard Williams is pretty slow, but his block shedding power moves play rec are all really good. Definitely like Leonard Williams here, but what about famous Jameis? Jalen Hurts has been good, man. It'd be hard to justify this. Jameis has much, much better accuracies. Hmm. I'm worried that, like, it doesn't really matter how good your quarterback is. They just kind of miss throws anyway. Because in Wheel of Mutt, I have 87 Kenny Pickett. And, dude, he misses throws all the time. So what I don't want to do is take Jameis and just still whiff on passes. I'm going defense here, man. We're in the playoffs. I think Jalen Hurts will get me far. I'm going to go with Leonard Williams. Leonard Williams, big cat. I think Jerome Bettis would have been really fun, too, but... But that's okay. I'm happy to get what I got. I am interested in seeing the AKA sets now because potentially we could just build whatever it is that we want. So let's say we wanted Jerry Rice. We would need 84 Jerry Rice, four more 84s in general, AKA players. That's actually not that hard. We would just have to get Jerry Rice somehow and then two more. Definitely something we can do down the line here in pack and play. Offense is great regardless. On defense, we can take Jalen Ramsey out of CB3 and we can make this Deion Sanders. I like that a lot. Better coverages too. So that's a big upgrade. And then my right end instead of Okoronkwo is gonna be Leonard Williams' big cat. Our defense is loaded with 87s. Let's see what his X factor is. Since he's an AKA, he should get like a bonus really good X factor. Add training to unlock a new AKA X factor upgrade. Run stuffer charges up one down faster. So his run stuffer AKA's block shaking is more effective versus run plays. Damn, so he's gonna be blowing up the run. It's 2 AP to use it. And then I need a little more training to get the upgrade, but I'll totally do that. I got to go sell some players to get that training. Quick selling Talanoa, Hufanga, and a bunch of random golds from our bench will give us just enough training to get this done. So run stuffer starts on for three straight downs, and then it looks like it's off for nine. But thanks to this, it's one down faster. So I think that's eight. I don't really know, but he's going to get an X factor at a few different points in time. So we're ready for the NFC Championship, boys. We're already one wave of the playoffs through. Let's win here as well big top three i love that top three all defense i don't know how leonard oh no did i forget oh you know what thank god for halftime adjustments there's that new feature where you can adjust your abilities at halftime thank god because i forgot to activate leonard williams god i always do that nfc championship no excuses 
Doesn't matter what abilities we have, we gotta go win. First and 10, I'm gonna start out with a run to none other than Fred Taylor. I was gonna say, that's our guy. Goes for absolutely nothing right there. Oh, I'm gonna go halfback. He's got it! Fred Taylor, 57 catching. Don't ever sleep on that man. I'm thinking he just switched to man coverage, so I kinda wanna throw Kadarius Tony. Yes, sir. Although, don't know if that was man. Great juke. One more! That juke is so OP. It's so busted. Kadarius Tony, nice work. Let's go PA crossers. Let's try and get him deep. Ah, damn, that pass rush was insane. Second and 17 here. I'll take the check down, catch it, Freddy. No, oh, it's so good. It's so good. We don't need the bus, man. We don't need the bus. Fred Taylor does it all. Second and 10. Oh, no. Oh my God, I thought he took, dude, I thought he was gonna take Hunter Henry. I thought it was gonna be wide open. Dude, what a huge sell. He's got Warren Moon at quarterback. He's gonna start out with a run to Khalil Herbert. It's blown up. Great start. We're gonna shade outside. We're there, ah. no. Oh my God, and Joku just torched Blankenship, what? And he's gonna showboat. How did Njoku torch Blankenship? This is bad, boys. It's a bad start. Seven to zero. Got to pull it together here. First and 10. Got to get on the board here. Dude, this pass rush is insane. He's blitzing three against five, and he's getting me. I think Amari Cooper's open, though. He is. Oh, Where are you throwing? Where are you throwing? What the fuck? Oh my God, should I really have taken Jameis? Is this how today's gonna go? He's wide open and you throw it actually directly at the DB. We gotta stay composed or we're just gonna lose so hard. Second and 10, a pitch. Absolutely blown up by Leonard Williams. Third and 15. He just heaves one up to Metcalf. Broken up by Sherman, fourth and 15. He's gotta go for this. I'm gonna try and blitz so fast that he can't. I don't know who was guarding the DB. <laughs> he just whiffed such a big throw. Madden 24 is just whiff season, bro. You just be whiffing. Oh, look at A. Please make that throw. Good throw, Jalen! Tie this game up right now. First and 10. I'm gonna check this down to running back. Yes. Dude, Fred Taylor. Jeez, there's a lot of jitters in the NFC Championship right now, but let's just punch this ball into the end zone and call it a day here, boys. Here we go. Beautiful. Oh, oh, oh it's a cakewalk. It's a cakewalk. I'm going for two. This is a risky go for two, but I want it. Right, Fred Taylor. Great catch. Let's go. Eight to seven. Could go to his halfback. Oh, I like that. Blank and ship. Good breakup. Blank and ship. I don't know why he's up there though. I feel like, I feel like like somebody's prime times. Yeah, the prime time's not in. Prime time is now technically a safety, but I'd prefer him up there. Okay, does he run this ball? Cause I have prime time safety now. Floating down with Ed Reed, just in case he does run it. He does. Ed Reed's down here. No, the juke. Hey, if, if the juke is OP for me, it's OP for everybody, right? Great. Stop, Greenlaw! Fourth and four, I flattened him. He's gonna pass. He's passing. I'm guarding 85. Get there! Oh my God, step up, prime time. He's gonna regret showboating with Njoku. Promise you that. Nice throw. God, that was just perfect. He goes for two. He kind of has to, right? I'm here with DJ Reader and we broke it out. 13 to eight, it's actually huge, man. That's huge. Go Fred Taylor to the edge. Damn. Gets a roll out here with Jalen Hurts. Pick up as much as we can. It's now third and six. That was a nice pickup. Kind of like Kadarius Tony in the seam. Kadarius Tony's wide open. We'll make the throw that time. It's one I tried to make before that wasn't there. Hoping I can hit Hunter Henry underneath here. It's kind of there. Ooh, try to get a little cheeky there. I don't know what he was going for. I'm just going to keep ripping these underneath routes. It's kind of a risky throw. By kind of, I mean it was a risky throw. I think I could run this again in the same way, and I think I could hit Hester. Unless this is man. Is this man all of a sudden? Nope. There it is. It's the end! Hester's in! With 12 seconds, 
massive. I'm just gonna keep my two point lead here. I could try to extend this, but a two point lead's already pretty huge. I mean, there's a chance that he goes for two again and doesn't get it and he just keeps digging himself deeper and deeper. But that's 15 to 13 with 12 seconds left. Now we just go stupid deep with Seau. And he gets rocked by Ed Reed. That's the half. Okay, Leonard Williams, do we even want your ability here? I don't think we want Leonard Williams' ability. He's not really running the ball. So I actually think we keep it as it is. Play as we have been. We have a two-point lead, but we have to kick off to him here. So, oh, this is a close game. We got to stay locked in. Ooh, that time we got him. TJ Watt gets home. Needed that bad, boys. Now, I'm going to do a zone blitz. Nope, there's nothing there because it's zone. Yes. Fourth and 18 from the 48. Just got to get the stop this time. Come on, boys. Come on. What? How was that so open? This guy is good, man. Ball's a steal on fourth and 18 to just convert that. Man coverage. That is not open. Stay out. Finally. We were just so close to a turnover so many times. We finally get it here. And guess what? I'm so glad we took that two-point lead because a touchdown and a PAT here is a nine-point lead. I'm going to start us out with an inside zone to Freddy Boy, who's going to go to the edge. And that's a great tackle. That was a very, very good tackle. Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts. Inside zone to Fred Taylor. Not ready to give up on it. He kind of knew. But Fred Taylor turned into a yard. I have a... Oh, that might be a touchdown! Gerald Everett, go! Stiff arm, damn it! First and goal on the playmaker! I kind of want to go play action, but I'm scared of getting sacked. We just gonna run it. Stretch, great blocks, follow him, follow him! Into the end zone! Let's go! Fred Taylor, and the PAT will make this a nine point game. Great blocking! Right down the middle. It's a two possession ball game. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Still got to win the ball game. I like that if we keep him in bounds. I really like that now. Let that clock tick, man. Second and six. Now I send the blitz. Prime time. Prime time. Oh my God, that acceleration was insane. A juke. Another one. Prime time. 84 prime. First and 10. I'm going to the edge with Big Fred. He sees it late. He's in trouble here. Yep, second and inches. That's the third quarter, we're chewing it. Gonna go with another weak side zone run in case he's guessing a right side run. I think he did. Remember when you showboated with Njoku? I remember. I remember when you showboated you on that first win. play of the game. Let's go! I told him, I said it in the first quarter. I said, you will regret Showboat. He didn't listen, man. He didn't listen, and he ends up rage quitting in the fourth quarter. The only game left is the Super Bowl, and that'll be next episode. So the rage quit gives us one of any pack in the store. The AKA pack technically isn't as good as like Legends, but I want AKA because I want to be able to do the set. We can pull an 84 in this. That'd be awesome. 84. Come on, baby. Whoa! 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 whoa, whoa. It was the big animation! It was the big animation! The boss for the Super Bowl! <laughs> Jerome Bettis the boss! Dude, I feel bad for Fred Taylor. Fred Taylor's worked his ass off to get here. But Jerome Bettis does everything he does, but better. 88 truck, 87 brake tackle, 86 speed. That's why I love the big animations so much. Because you get that moment right there. As soon as that was opening, I was like, Ew. If anyone's wondering, that is literally a half a million coin pull right there. That's why you force rage quits and pack and play, ladies and gentlemen. For the rage quit, we get that right there. And for our four touchdowns, it's four playmaker packs. These are nice. They can just add training to the squad. And every once in a while, you pull something nice in it we get Grant Delpit. Nothing special in this second. Third one's got a whole lot of nothing either. And the fourth and final playmaker pack. No way we pulled the buzz. I can't wait for the Super Bowl now, man. I can't wait for the Super Bowl. Hey, well, the Super Bowl is going to be an insane episode. I can tell you that right now. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.